So today I'm going to show you how you can create a bibliometric analysis of the country co-citations, like from what countries is it that people are working together and publishing together that may look something like this. So to start, it all comes down to how it is that you download your data. So say we're in Scopus here and I've done my search on climate change migration in Latin America and I'm curious as to how it is that people are working together across these countries, across any country, really. So I want to download all and I want to do an export so that I can take it into Voss Viewer. And when you initially open this, this will actually all be unchecked. It's just going to say, do you want to download the citation information? And what you want to do is come in here and check all of the bibliomac bibliom bibliographical information and you only really actually need the correspondence address because what it's pulling from is actually the institution that people are publishing from so it's also not a perfect measure of you know country of origin of the author but rather institution they're publishing from and then we're going to download as a csv export and now i have it downloaded here. And so now I'm going to go into Voss Viewer and create something new and walk you through it. So we're going to create a map based on bibliographic data. I just cannot say it. And we downloaded directly from Scopus. So we're going to click that first one or leave it checked. And then you want to go browse where you have it. And so we're doing Scopus 6 here. Click next. And now you have co-authorship and you can do either specific authors what organizations they're publishing from or countries. So say we're doing countries here. We then it's going to give us of the 27 countries we have people from only four are have a minimum number of four documents in a country. So let's say we're like, no, we want to see even if there's only uh, two documents in our sample or one document. In our sample we want to see where all of these are from so then we're gonna hit next 27 and here it shows us the, the list how many documents have authors from there and then also the citations of each and then the total length strength in terms of the links on of your network analysis so that would mean maybe down here that there are no links between other countries other authors from other countries to authors from these countries so then we'll hit finish. And this is important because in this case, it says 21 of them are connected and that means six are not. So those six that we saw at the bottom are not connected. It wants to know, do you want to see this on here? So we may or we may not. So in this case, I'm going to say, yes, let's just see the 21 that are connected. And it's going to show up like this. So now we see these are the different links. US is linked to more. Um, and that's why it's larger. So the size of it shows you um, the amount of times that it shows up. And so you can obviously come here to the side and play around with it, change the size. You can change, you know, if there's are colored, if they're curved or not. I like curved, but it's up to you. Um, and you can also change, here we go, the size of the um, circles to show the starkness um, and then play around you know with colors back here with the background but say you're done playing around with it and now you want to export it you're gonna go if you want to just export the picture you go to screenshot and you name it um, so country of origin save and then it's just gonna be down here country of origin and voila you have it right here saved and again when these pop up you can go and edit say you wanted these in capital letters you can do that in here too um, and if you want to save to be able to go back and see all your steps and maybe edit some of them like come back and edit colors you go to save and that's where you save the map file and the network file the last name that you saved it as is going to pop up so the last thing i was working on was here but you just retype it and then it'll save onto um, your computer so again, this is just one way of doing it. If anyone has any other ways or any suggestions or questions, uh, please let me know.